Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zena. If you're new here, hi. We are headed back into South Park. These uh, this season is the best season so far. I'm rooting it. I'm giving it the best season so far. I'm, it's the nastiest. It is definitely the nastiest. We are in the season six episode of uh, 14, The Death Camp of Tolerance is where we are headed. Some time ago, you asked to be promoted from teaching kindergarten back to the third grade. Wow, that's really great to hear. As you know, the position of fourth grade teacher has become available. Oh, this is all just, this is a dream come true. Thank you, Principal Victoria. I'll do So this going, he's going back with Stan now. Fourth grade, they about to I mean, get him again. I mean, I'd rather, I mean, I'm not trying, I... He don't need to be a teacher at all, but no. I'd rather him be a fourth grade than with the kindergartners. He don't need to be with nobody. He don't, but he needs to just... if I had a choice, yeah. kindergartners. Maybe sixth grade, maybe me. move him up or something, because he just, he a lot to deal with. I mean, I'm not going to just get fired again for being gay tomorrow. It's for real, Mr. Garrison. Do you know if we fired you for acting gay next time, you'd be able to sue the school district? There was the case out of Minnesota where the guy was awarded $25 million, I think. Jeez Louise. For that price, I'm getting fired. I'm gonna Why fight. tell him out of all people discriminate against me. So he's I'm gonna like, he's gonna try to get I'm that. I'm gonna try to work a deal with somebody. Look, this is how we gonna do it. You gonna get fired. You might get some backlash for it, but we gonna split this twenty five. We gonna split this twenty five. I need you to take the fall though. Discriminate against me, so I get this twenty five. Just saying. Get your phone together. Oh, it's my alarm. <laughs> Why do you have an alarm right now? Our son's basketball. There's no practice today. Tuesday. We don't even practice this really. It's Tuesday. Your oh your your other team. Your first and second graders. Exactly. Exactly. It's time to go. I've got to find a way to get fired for being gay. The principal has finally hired a teacher to take her place. Ah! Not him. Thank you, Mr. Maggie. Where's Mr. Hat, sir? Well, I was informed that fourth graders are a little too old for Mr. Hat. Say hello to Mr. Slave. Who? Hi, Who? kids. <coughs> this is why he'll need to be a teacher. You just, you literally manifested your plan. This is why he'll need to be a teacher. Because this right here is just going above and above me. Out. This is going too far. This is going way too far. Mr. Slave, let's start with the name. Secondly, this outfit. Nothing. Nothing, boots. I don't even want to know where this is headed. I don't. Okay, Mr. Slave, go sit until I need you. Oh! oh. In fact, it's going to be long and hard. Really long and really hard. Kenny, no! Don't do it, Kenny! Eric, did you just throw a paper airplane? That does it. I will not put up with foolishness in my class. I will not oh. put up with tomfoolery oh. in my classroom, oh. children. Mr. Slate, put this rubber ball in your mouth. I don't care if you're trying to see. I wasn't saying go this direction. No, you said it. You, you can't go no, back. I wasn't, you can't saying, go back. I wasn't saying let's get in on like this. I wasn't saying this type of discrimination. This is a whole nother different level. I wasn't saying head this way. I was talking about the other way. The other way. Well, I think in the fourth chapter, when uh, Nancy Drew discovers the bloody glove in the cheerleader's locker. I ain't never read one of her books. No, I, I mean, unless she has multiple. I don't know. I just know she has books. If she has books, regardless of this, how many she got, if she got one or none, I know or all, I never I'm with read name, her not, books. Not the books. I just know. Yeah, unless she's popular. Yeah, yeah, Nancy Drew. I just know she was popular, but like I never read her books. Are they good? You know what? She, she gave me like investigator vibes. Like she was like a little detective. Yeah, yeah. She that was like I just I don't know. I wonder. She was a bunch of them. Is it me or did you all think that Nancy Drew solved the riddle of Elephant Mountain a little too easily? Well, he has this new teacher's assistant, and they're both totally gay. Kyle! Oh, I'm surprised at you, Stanley. I really thought you knew how to accept people for who they were. I think it's time you kids took a little trip to the Museum of Tolerance. I think this is a real thing. And I wouldn't doubt it. No, like, I think it's actually a real thing. I think, like, if I'm thinking of the right one, I think it's, like, in L.A. or something. And high schoolers, I don't know now, but I know my older brothers, when they were in high school, they went to this for a field trip. But if it's the right one, now I don't know. I doubt it is. I think the name is right, but the the whatever's in there is wrong because obviously it's not the same topic. But let's begin our tour with a walk through our tunnel of prejudice. This is definitely not what I was saying. This is why I I 
You want to take it with a grain of salt because it's South Park. It's hey, South hey, Park. Do they drop the N word? I don't want to pause it. I ain't my ancestors. Don't play with me up in here. I ain't my ancestors. You know what? No, because like now it makes me think. I get the punch up in here. I ain't my ancestors. Wait, no. Now it makes me think. What is it called? Let me see. Why do you need to look up the museum? Because I know it's not this one. Hold on. Let me see. Because this is beyond. They ain't got no museum like this. What you searching? House of. House. Or what museum? My bad. See, it's getting me confused. Museum of tolerance. Is it tolerance? Museum of tolerance. It is called. It's real. It's real. I told you it is real. It's called the Museum of Tolerance in L.A. But, but, it's about, it's the Anne Frank exhibit. And they over here making it about, oh my God, I can, I can, I, I, you know what, you know what, South Park? When I think I'm right, I'm right, but I'm really wrong. These wax figures represent how some intolerant people have labeled minorities. What other stereotypes do you see here? Ah, here's the Arab as a terrorist. Not all stereotypes are negative, really? but even a positive one like all Asians are good at math. Ah, here's a good one. It's the stereotypical sleepy Mexican. Wow. What, what? I'm supposed to be cleaning, but I'm so tired. Jose. Uh, so sleepy. Oh, Jose. Two other boys have probably called this young man names like Tubby or Lard Butt or Fat Tits. If he chooses to eat fatty foods, that's his life choice. Dude, tolerance kicks <laughs> 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 That's our Cartman. We have to accept people for who they are and what they like to do. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Go ahead and kill yourself, stupid tar breath. Dumbass, get out of here. Now you see where the kids get it from. Right there. Prime example. But see, this is what I'm talking about with South Park. I was I, I knew there was something that was something like this, but look at how they turned it. Look at how they turned it. You got to. Because this is what people think of. Let's take our seats. Uh, apparently none of you tried to get me fired yesterday. Now if we take the glass tube of the Bunsen burner, we can also see how other things react. Now, I'm going to put the glass tube under Mr. Slave's tight Okay, now, Butters, could you bring over Lemmy Winks for me, please? Sure. Lemmy Winks? Oh, my gosh. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where, are we going? Where is Lemmy going? Poor Lemmy. Oh, my gosh. Poor Lemmy. The fact that he is doing this in class again is beyond me. Oh, Lord. South Park, South Park, South Park. How was this put on TV? I know you had sensory. I know they had sensory and stuff, but how was this on TV? Right? He gonna die? Well, let's uh, see. Uh, ah! Winks? No! I, I, I know I'm not tripping, but a, a, I think it's called like a beater or a beam, beamer, beam, beam, whatever, the little. I forgot what it's called. It's not what it be. Okay, the little, the little thing he stuck up. Oh my God. See, I don't even want to say it. The glass. The glass. The glass beam, bingy. It's not, it's not open on both sides. Well, he had a flame on that one, so he probably it's had. It's not open on both sides well, maybe that's ever. A, maybe that's a sex toy. It's not. It's not open on both sides. It's always. It's closed at the bottom and open at the top. So for him to have one that's like open both sides. Who knows? Who knows? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Do better, South Park. Do better. How's it going? Bad. Why bad? Chef, we're intolerant. I thought you knew better. Well, we didn't think we were, but Mr. Garrison has this new assistant, and we're really uncomfortable around them. Well, thing. I guess it's mostly the way Mr. Garrison stuck a gerbil at Mr. Slave. Children, there's a big difference between gay people and Mr. Garrison. Yes. I'll take three lunches today, please. You don't need three lunches, Eric. You're fat enough as it is. Now we'll get fired for sure. Well, it wasn't the first small animal I put up my ass. 25 million, here we come. Don't forget I get half. You must find your way out of this place or you will surely die. Hurry onward, Lemmy Winks, or you will soon be dead. You wanted to see me, Principal Victoria? Oh, yes, uh, Mr. Garrison, have a seat. Oh, dear, sounds like I'm getting fired. Oh, well, I can't stop being who I am. I can't help the way God made me. Sending Chef to a tolerance seminar. What? Sending Chef to a tolerance seminar? What? Just wanted to give you an opportunity to apologize to Mr. Garrison before I sent you away, Chef. We're not staying in class another minute with those queer mos. Well, I really thought you boys learned something. I wonder where they learned that from. You sent them through a tunnel that said They're words. not letting their kids speak First and off, tell them. 
They went through a tunnel that said I'm, words. I'm just saying. And then they went outside to do smoking cigarettes, and the parents said words. Who do you think they learned it from? But I'm just saying, let these kids explain to you what they are seeing. Y'all keep shutting them down and not letting them talk. Mr. Maggie, we've done everything we can to raise compassionate children. We don't know where else to turn. Then it's settled. Boys, you're going to tolerance camp. They're going to be in there with shit. Tolerance camp? You are here because you would not accept people's differences. Here you will work every hour of every day until you submit to being tolerant. How it go. This is unbelievable, Mr. Slave. It seems no matter what I do, I can't get fired. That they want to give me the Courageous Teacher Award this Friday at the Museum of Tolerance. Well, it sounds to me like the principal is just hiding things from everybody. The award ceremony. Well, we'll put on a show they'll never forget. Oh. Oh. To find his way out of the game and... While coming to the entrance of the small intestine, there you must seek out the Sparrow Prince. I am the Sparrow Prince. Long has my spirit been trapped within this place. Take with you this helmet and torch. Let them be your guide. Take you will make a painting that shows people of different races and sexual orientations. People with different sexual preferences. You will accept everyone. I, I didn't know what else to paint. Start over. You will finger paint what we tell you. Go. Are you done? What is it? What have you done? People of all colors and creeds holding hands beneath a rainbow. I've done it, Mr. Slave. The perfect plan to get us fired. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Just a bit of an upset stomach, I guess. You chose your path wisely, Lemmy Winks. I am the Katata Fish. If you answer this riddle, the esophagus will let you pass. What the? We are making the prisoners make macaroni pictures that illustrate diversity in the workplace. Kylie, you have to keep making your macaroni pictures. Can't. Glue. Butters. Never. Arts and crafts. She can't work anymore. We'll die. Back. Back. Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been better off you just snitching on me. Why is this giving me? It's not funny, but like it's South Park, even though like I felt so guilty for laughing. But why is this reminding me of the boy in the striped pajamas? I've never seen it. You've never seen that? How? How? I don't like watching like How? sad stuff. You watch murders. That's yeah, different. You watch scary and horror. You watch so many documentaries. That's not sad. Yes, documentaries are sad. They're not. You watch, yeah, ha, oh my gosh, you need to watch that. That movie is so sad, I cry every time. No. Herbert Garrison came out about two years ago. It is my honor to present the Courageous Teacher Award to Herbert Garrison. Get along, little slave. Oh my God. That's what our boys were talking about? I had a dream last night that you were a real Really? Oh, that is so courageous. What an amazing human being. I've got a little, ooh. Oh, oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ, what's, what's happening, happening in there? Courageous. So courageous. <laughs> God damn it, don't you people get it? But the museum tells us to be tolerant. Yes! Just because you have to tolerate something doesn't mean you have to approve of it. it Our boys didn't hate homosexuals, they just hated the way this asshole was acting. Why didn't you tell us your teachers were acting so oh over the top? God. Yes, you boys don't know how much we've suffered. That is not funny, Goober. Look at Butters. <laughs> That you are so wrong. You are so wrong. That is like, what were they doing? Starving them? Oh my God! Carpet that... still not losing no weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! They look terrible. They look terrible. This is so bad because it makes me think of the movie. Is the movie it's, this bad? It's like this. I I I. That's what I'm saying. See, that's why I want to watch that crap. You want to watch some sad. I don't remember. No, I feel like I don't they remember. Don't I don't remember. I have like vivid, like I mean not vivid. I have like foggy memories we'll get it of that movie. But it's, your, it's, it's, it's sad. It is a sad movie. Tell it is sad. Lights. But this is sad. <laughs> Butters look the worst. Can somebody go get all these kids? Like, can they shut this down? Like, oh my god. No recruits. I assure you, the next week the will be back. nothing but pain and suffering. <laughs> You are the gerbil king. Probably the best part. Made it. He was probably the best part of the whole damn show. Like this was awesome. They're so disrespectful. <laughs> like you know what? I'm not even. I'm hoping that I'm wrong, but sometimes my mind be traveling, you guys, and that's literally where it took me. I mean, I, I was putting the two together. You know, you got the house, the museum together. of tolerance. Put it together. And then you got, then you got yeah. tolerance yeah. camp, and I'm just like. Yes. 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 I just. I just. I can't. 
support. Oh my god, yeah. South Park would just be doing too much. It's that's like South Park would just this be doing too much. This episode was a lot to take in. I will say, thank, thank I'm it thankful was, for. And there was some stuff taken in. Really, Wilbur. Really, really. 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 I'm just saying. Really. Really. Anyways. Anyways Jesus Christ. I mean, if, I mean, if you guys, and if, if your guys' antennas were where my antennas were. Please let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. I mean, if you guys have, like, some insight on this episode, you know, all that good stuff, let us know down below because this was a bit much. I swear, South Park be going so south. It really do. I'm just like. Yes. Until next time, Colorado. Until next time.